uh, writing Blood Brothers was a different experience than writing Submarine Outlaw. It was a more, um, I can say, it was a more artistic experience okay. than, than the Submarine Outlaw series. Um, not even really sure why I'm saying that. It just <laughs> felt that way. Okay. You know, I felt that working with the language, I was trying harder. I was paying more attention to the language being being um, a vehicle for something beyond the storyline. Okay. You know, something more than the storyline, uh, a sense of place, yeah. uh, a sense of, um, well, I felt that the, the storyline, the language, had to carry the, the philosophy behind the story. Right. You know, the Boethius' uh, philosophy of, of um, never getting too uptight about when things are bad, never getting too excited when things are good, and uh, Two Feathers uh, is mirroring that philosophy of saying, um, you know, the key to happiness, really, is, uh, is acceptance of things you can't change, you know. Yeah. And, that, and that's the, also the, the wisdom, uh, his natural wisdom, that he's learning in the wilderness and, and with animals and with the hardships, the difficulty of surviving right. in such a harsh environment. Cool. Okay. Are you hoping um, that your readers of this will take away that? And what, what else are you hoping they'll take away Absolutely. from reading? Like, Absolutely. Yeah. I think readers, uh, I, I know readers always take away more than we um, offer them because we, we all, all we do is, as, as writers is um, put something in front of them to um, prod, urge their, you know, provoke mm -hmm. their imagination, uh, which is always greater than the written te text. The reader's imagination is, is king, mm -hmm. queen, <laughs> whatever you like, and is always going to be... Um, uh, bigger, broader, more exciting than the words in the book. <laughs>